In this video series, we're going to talk about importing your data into Katana, mostly when it comes to the spreadsheet imports. So to kick off this topic, uh, you being logged into your Katana account under the settings screen, we'll see a section here called data import. Now, the topic of importing data is um, there's a lot of ways to do it. You can do it through spreadsheets. You can import data through uh, some of the integrations, like for example, our e-commerce integrations allow you to bring in products and customers. Uh, and then also we have accounting integrations, which allows you to import customers and suppliers, for example. Um, we also support API. So if you are using the API in our advanced platforms and above, then you can actually uh, generate an API key and actually import data that way. But for most newcomers, everybody does it. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheets are the most common way to import data into cloud solutions. So um, generally speaking, there's a couple of ways to import data, and ERP solutions are quite complex. So uh, the details of importing can be also complex too. Um, but in general, there's main, two main use cases. You can either be a new customer who's coming from spreadsheets and Need to organize your data and put them into spreadsheets so you can import them. Or you could be a pre-existing customer coming from, let's say, another ERP solution and then have data already ready to go, but you just still have to format it into the templates that Katana uses. So in this video series, I'll be speaking mostly about just the details for each import template and the use cases around those to give some pointers about the uh, importation of your products, materials, and everything else that follows that, and uh, the general uh, order in which it's best to be done. So uh, to kick this off, um, mainly going to take it from the direction of a new customer who's doing this for the very first time because this is the easiest way to approach this subject. Whereas if you're coming from uh, another solution and you're importing retroactive data, which is usually not the best preferred method. It's better to just kind of start from this point forward when you're moving forward with an ERP solution, which is what Katana is designed with their imports uh, to do. Uh, so we'll talk about kind of the main, the main uh, order of operations in, in importing your data. So as a new customer on Katana's platform, my recommendation would be to always start off importing the easiest things first. And actually, first thing you should import is your materials. Now, materials are easy to import. We have a template that you can download, and then you fill out the template and upload it. The second thing that you should import is your products. Now, as I mentioned already, you can import your products from e-commerce, so maybe this isn't a big deal at all. But the, then there are other use cases in your manufacturing business where you might have intermediate products, like semi-finished goods, stuff that you don't sell in your e-commerce solution, for example might be some things that you need to import uh, as well here. So first thing is materials, second thing is products. Now the third thing I recommend importing is your uh, bill of materials or recipes, because what this does is it takes the materials that are already in the system and then maps them to the products that are already in the system. And then it says, what is the quantity of those materials or product, those materials to make those products. And so you need products and materials first in order to create uh, ingredients or bills of materials. Now, after you have done that, the next best step is importing your operations. So depending on what kind of business it is, whatever your like end goal is, do you just want to track inventory? You could just upload bombs and be done with it. Um, but if you're also doing manufacturing operations and you need to track that too, then you can also upload your operations. And so what the operations will be doing is it will be mapping specific operations that you do to make a product to specific products. And so once you have those four things brought into your Katana account, then you're pretty much good to go and start working with the things that you need to do when it comes to uh, making sales orders, purchase orders, etc. Now, Going further down the list, we have several other things that we uh, offer as well. There is add batch and lot numbers. So in order for you to add batch and lot numbers, I'll get to that in a second. 
um, this applies to this is something that we allow you to allocate uh, batch lot numbers to existing stock. But you can't add those yet until you have stock updated. Now, firstly, um, you know, when you're doing the initial setup, you can import products and materials with stock levels. But it's not uncommon that you just import the items and then later come back and do a stock count so you can update your stock levels. This is what most companies do because it generally takes several weeks to implement an ERP solution. So I'll come back to that in just a moment. But uh, the next part here is um, is we also have something called update stock, uh, sorry, update templates, which are a little different in the sense that uh, this is when you need to change data related to any of those items, such as existing products, which are already in the system, existing materials, which are already in the system, and also stock levels again, which um, will get updated once all of your materials and products are uploaded. So order of operations, just as a quick recap, the best way to add data in here is start off with materials, then add products, then add recipes and bills of materials, then add operations. And then before you go live with your Katana account, you should update your stock levels for all of the existing products and materials already in the system. And then in the future, if necessary, and you need to make changes to your existing or existing products or materials, then you can use these update templates. So we'll create in our video series materials, products, uh, bombs, operations, and then we'll do the update stock level and stock value templates. And then we'll talk a little bit more about batch numbers. Uh, so this, is, uh, this, this import allows you to take your existing stock and assign batch numbers to them. Um, and then lastly, we will, there's also another area in here which is related to uh, barcode scanning. So you can actually update, start using barcodes too, which can be imported as well. So hopefully that will cover the majority of importing and um, good luck and hope you enjoy the videos to come.